And now we are going to update GLPI to a new version, to the latest version, which is at the moment 10.0.19. It doesn't mean that it doesn't work in other options and other versions because the process is always the same. Unless there are some scripts for migration that we are going to see on other videos. Before you start, there are some important information to make sure you are doing it correctly. If you need to restore a database for a different server or for whatever reason you need to restore, make sure your database is empty before you restore it. And after you restore it, you make the update process because the database needs to be updated using our scripts. Don't update the GLPI server and then restore your backup because it's going to break. And also, don't forget to check if all of your extensions and MySQL and Apache are up to date for the versions that are required to use GLPI, also found on the documentation. But first of all, let's take a look on this server that we have here. This is a clean installation of GLPI on the version 10.0.16 and I'm going to download the version 10.0.19. There's something that is very important to mention for this video, that is that we've used this good practices process to install this GLPI, which means that we are using the file system hierarchy standard breakdown, which means that we have all, all of our files in different folders. They are not within the GLPI folder that we download from the GitHub. And for this installation, we are using again the downstream file. Make sure that you have a backup of your database and of these files in these folders. If in your organization you have a different environment or a different installation process, please make sure you are using the correct paths to your installation. In GLPI, we are making sure that we have a backup of the front end. We don't have files, we don't have attachments in these files. So we are just renaming it for glpi.bkp. And once we want to have the latest table version of GLPI, we can navigate into GLPI project downloads and download it from GitHub. If you want other versions, you can always go to the archive in GLPI GitHub and download the version that you want. In this case, we are downloading the 10.0.19, which is the latest version that we have at the moment. WGET and we are downloading it to a space where there's no GLPI installed. Actually, there was one and now there is no GLPI installed because we don't want to merge files. We want to start with newer files with security patches or security libraries up to date. Sorry, it was to be the 16 and we are downloading it again because I made a mistake. Good. So now we have the 1019. We are going to extract it in here. And from now on, we are starting the process of installation. But no, we are not doing all the things that we've done into the installation. Since all of the config files are in order space, we just need the downstream and the marketplace and plugins folders that were not outside the GLPI folder. So let's make sure we do that. We are going to cp the var hum artur glpi.bkp and here we have plugins to glpi. It's a folder. Good. We're going to also take the marketplace one. And we are also taking the downstream that is in ink. To our ink, our current ink folder. 
copy. So now we can navigate into GLPIs folder and take a look if we have already the files that we had. It's important to mention that every plugin is going to be disabled once you start your update and you have to re-enable it. If we take a look into the downstream, we are going to see that the local define of the files are in a different folder, which is the etc glpi. There we have the glpi crypt, the glpi config for our database, and everything related to configuration, which means we don't need that in the glpi folder. Because also we have security concerns. So let's just come back to the glpi folder, clear it, and start the installation. You can do it both ways. You can access the GLPI on the same URL and start it from here. But we are going to do it on the console. And to make sure we have set correct permissions, we are going to copy the permissions that we have on our GLPI installation process on help.glpiproject.org and set them up again. And now to start the installation process using the console, we are using a regular user. We are not using a root user due to security concerns. We are going to use the user that runs the Apache, which is www.data in, in Ubuntu. And for that, we are going to navigate to the GLPI folder var www.html glpi and then run it like sudo minus u www data and then we are going to insert the command for update bin which is the folder where the migration scripts are console db update root password so now it's just making sure that the current GLPI is this and the target GLPI is the one that you want. And it's asking me to see, to see if I want to continue. And as you can see here, it has checked the database schema integrity, which is okay. The database is okay. I can just type yes. And then GLPI is going to update to all the version that we want like 10.0.17 and 10.0.18. It is a process of updates that are needed in order to get to the last version, the latest version of GLPI. Sometimes you don't have a database update, but if we have, we are going to see some ACL updates here, and we are going to also see some updates on tables of our database. Just letting the usage statistics to yes, you can let it know. They are all anonymous tele telemetry that are sent to our server, so we know which version of GLPI, Apache, and servers you are using out there, but it is up to you. I'm just typing yes, and now GLPI is updated. I can come back here to our GLPI. I'll show you here. I'll refresh it. and GLPI is up to date. As you can see here, the install file, let's just remove it, sudo rm bar www.html GLPI install install PHP. Also, another good thing to do is to come back there to the HTML and remove the targz. Good. Now coming back to our server, we can see on our general tab, we are on 10.0.19. If you have plugins installed, you just need to re-enable them here. See you on the next video.